Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church in McGuanagall for the 5th of May, 2022. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, tell of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his praise continually. Remember the wondrous works that he has done, his miracles and the judgments he uttered. He remembers his covenant forever, the word that he commanded for a thousand generations. For our devotion today and tomorrow, I'm going to focus on something pretty uh, special that's happening here at St. John's this weekend, the installation of Pastor Free. During the installation service, we'll hear these words. St. Paul wrote <clears throat> that a pastor must be above reproach, faithful to his wife, temperate, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach not given to drunkenness, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own family well and see that his children obey him, and he must do so in a manner worthy of full respect. He must also have a good reputation with outsiders, so that he will not fall into disgrace and into the devil's trap. Paul urged young Timothy to set an example for the believers in speech and conduct and love and faith and impurity. He further advised him, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture, to preaching and to teaching. Watch your life and doctrine closely. Persevere in them, because if you do, you will save both yourselves and your hearers. These words were also given. Preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. Correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. Keep your head in all situations. Endure hardship. Do the work of an evangelist. Discharge all the duties of your ministry. In all your tasks and responsibilities, our Lord Jesus equips you with the gospel of the forgiveness of sins, the gifts that make you truly competent as a servant of Christ. St. Paul wrote, Not that we are competent in ourselves to claim anything for ourselves, but our competence comes from God. Um, and then Pastor Free will be asked a series of questions um, in keeping with his beliefs that you, the congregants, can be assured um, that his preaching and teaching will be aligned with the Holy Scriptures and with the confessions of the Lutheran Church. And you will also hear him promise to serve you, those whom he has called to serve, um, as a true care of souls, as a true shepherd. And in doing so, recognizing that he hears the the voice of his own Lord Jesus Christ in this call, the great shepherd of the sheep. When a pastor hears Paul's words to Timothy and also considers Paul's words to a pastor named Titus, the question, well, who is equal to such a task? It was a question that St. Paul himself asked. Well, the answer, of course, is no one. No one is fit for this ministry, surely not on our own. But as St. Paul says, and as we'll hear again on Sunday, not that we're bold to claim anything for ourselves, but that our competence alone comes from Christ. And so I think those words are key for pastor free, for all your pastors and all pastors. In all your tasks and responsibilities, our Lord Jesus equips you with the gospel of the forgiveness of sins. You see, that which we are privileged to speak, we first of all are blessed to hear. And so you should know that as your pastors go through this ministry, they recognize the frail cracked pots that they are. They recognize the desperate need that they too have for forgiveness. And they are just overjoyed to hear that forgiveness and then also speak it to you. One of the real blessings of adding a, a full-time pastor, another one here at St. John's, we pray is time for more pastoral personal care. 
We believe that the Lutheran ministry works best when pastors have time with their people, when people are not afraid or ashamed to come to their pastors in all sorts of circumstances. We ask that this would be a blessing, uh, not just for the members here at St. John's, but also by extension, those who we do not yet know. And any given day, you think about how many people walk into this building who are not technically members of St. John's, whether they are connected to our school or our preschool or family members of one of our parishioners, yet how many of them do see this as their church and so have given us an opportunity to reach out to them, to instruct them. You get off of this campus and get away from these four walls and you think all the more of those who are not currently being served by a church home and for all the for all the programs in a church or for all the outreach activities as blessed as they are the number one reason that people give for coming to a church is that somebody would invite them and so here's a question for you to put into your toolbox would you like to talk to my pastor there's three of them you know and they look for opportunities to proclaim this living word to you so that's a little bit about the word that will be spoken to Pastor Free this coming Sunday. Tomorrow, we'll consider the congregation's role um, in this relationship. And in all things, we pray that God would bless this together like he would bless a marriage, that he would bless a uh, pastor and people, that he would bless shepherd and flock, that we would all grow up into one head, namely Christ Jesus. In him, a blessed Thursday. Amen. In the morning, O oh Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen let us pray O god by the humiliation of your son you lifted up this fallen world from the despair of death by his resurrection to life grant to your faithful people gladness of heart and the hope of eternal joys through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.